Welcome to our service of First Sunday in June. Our theme this month is Trinity. It was Trinity Sunday last week, but I thought we'd look at the subject of Trinity in a way that only First Sunday can. We're using the material from the Family at Church group, which aims to produce stories and ways of understanding some of those complicated parts of the Bible which we might otherwise struggle with, whatever our age. I hope you enjoy the way it works out. Before we start, a prayer. Let us shape a space for the three, the spirit, the breath of life, the bread as food of heaven, the love in relationship. Let us shape a space that tangles all three through our life and our worship, held in relationship and met here. Let us shape a space for the many faces of God, woven together and revealed in each of us. On this Sunday, let us shape a space to be found together in worship. Amen. Please join us as we sing our first hymn, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. reading is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 16, verses 12 to 15. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. 
He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is what we're going to use to look at the Trinity. Now you will be thinking it's a piece of brown paper, which is indeed exactly what it is. But we're going to do something with it, which will make it into something a bit different. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to join it together to make a circle like that. I'm going to just twist it by 180 degrees and stick it together just so. This makes what we call a Mobius ring or a Mobius band. Now it looks a bit complicated, it's got a twist in it, but it has some very strange properties. For example, if I take my pen and I draw a line down the middle of it, so I'm just going to draw the line down the middle, it probably won't be very straight, but I'm going to go all the way down and I keep going until I come to where I started and I keep drawing and it seems an awful long way round. I keep drawing and we're still not there. And we keep going and I come back to the end. But what's strange is when you look at it, the line goes on the inside and the outside. And which is the inside and which is the outside? So they only have one side, perhaps makes it a bit complicated. I'm going to take my scissors now and I'm going to cut along this line. So what do you think is going to happen? It's probably going to fall apart. This is where the blue peter I'm, is one I made earlier would have been a useful thing to do except that it won't show you what happens. So here we have it. Our two strips of paper which are in fact one strip but with two twists in it. That seems a bit strange as well. Now, this happens because what you're doing is you're cutting in the line and you're creating another side. Now, if I cut this again in the middle, now you have to ignore my lines now because they don't exist. What's going to happen this time? Are we going to end up with two separate bits of paper? One bit of paper with four twists? Or is it going to untangle altogether and we're going to end up with just one piece of paper? I don't know. We're getting around to the end, although of course it's a lot further round now and it's getting very complicated to see what we're doing. We're nearly there. We get round to the end and... Oh, we've ended up with two strips wound round each other, each of which have two twists. Are you confused? We've created something rather simple and rather beautiful in a funny sort of way, and yet it's very complex. When Christians talk about God, we use the word Trinity. Now, Trinity describes the way that we experienced God. It describes how God can draw us to a relationship with him. Now, the Mobius strip is made of one bit of card. It has one boundary, one edge, and if you run your finger along the edge, you'll find it has no beginning or no end. It's something simple and yet complex. God can be seen as the same, something beautiful and very complex. Now, when Mobius did this, he used scientific equations to try and mathematical equations to work it out. And this was what he came up with. I'll just give you a moment to have a look at it. I will read what it says because I'll get it wrong otherwise. One way to represent the Mobius strip is as a subset of a three dimensional Euclidean space. And it's using parametrization. This equation tells us what the Mobius band is about. Did you understand it? Well, if you did, top marks because I didn't understand it at all. It's hard to describe something that is so complicated. I wonder how we might describe God then, who is bigger than this Mobius band, 
and more complicated than the entire universe. God surpasses the law of physics and maths. Luckily, it's much simpler than we think. Those who've trusted in God in the past and have seen him at work in their lives have helped us to describe him. No equations though, just simple words like love, joy, peace, king, almighty, beautiful, everywhere, personal. If you have the time, make yourself a Mobius band. And when you look at it, remember that God is even more complex and indescribable. And also remember that God is even more describable, close and personal than you can imagine. Trinity. How would you describe God? The mystery of God, creator, redeemer and sanctifier all at once, is beyond our human understanding, yet closer to us than breathing. We bring before you, O God, the needs of the church in its weakness and its potential. Revive and refresh us, teach us and direct us. Inspire all who preach and teach the good news and uphold all who suffer for their faith in any way. God of mystery and compassion, you know us and love us. We bring before you, O oh God, the particular problems of our age and our culture. Renew in us a commitment to community and mutual trust. Give a sense of value to all who despise others and themselves. Protect the vulnerable and sensitise the hearts of all who have become anaesthetised by images of violence. God of mystery and compassion, you know us and you love us. We bring before you, O God, the nurturing of our children and young people in homes and parenting, schools and teaching, in the expectations, pressures and dangers, in the hopes and possibilities for good. God of mystery and compassion, you know us and you love us. We bring before you, O God, the hungry and malnourished, greedy and complacent those who are ill, those who care for them, the unhappy and those who comfort them, all who are undergoing surgery or painful treatment and all who have no one to turn to. God of mystery and compassion, you know us and you love us. We bring before you, O God, those who have died in faith and now see you face to face. We pray for those whom death speaks of fear or annihilation and those who are unprepared to meet you. God of mystery and compassion, you know us and you love us. And now the collect for Trinity Sunday. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Please join me in the prayer that Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The next hymn that follows is Praise to the Holiest in the Height.
thank you for joining us today in our service, trying to understand a little bit more about Trinity. But remember, God already knows that we cannot find words to describe him or sum him up. No words or language really do the job. The word Trinity helps us, though, when we've known and seen God working as Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We can call him our own. We can call him our God. We look forward to seeing you at our next service at the beginning of July. But before we go, a prayer. You are deeper and broader and higher than we can understand. Yet you welcome us to sit at your table and to share the wonderful mystery of your love. Amen. And a blessing for us all. God, the Holy Trinity, make us strong in faith and love. Defend us on every side and guide us to truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Please join us and sing our final hymn, Thou Whose Almighty Word. <laughs>